Do you have a tree where you wanna cover that up? If you look for a big galvanized bucket and you can't find one that fits the stand. This is our fake tree. We had real trees all the while my children were growing up, but I'm allergic to real trees. We bring them in the house. I sneeze for weeks. I suffered while they were little and we had a real tree. Now that they're all gone, no more suffering. I got a fake tree and it's pretty, but that's not. I went to crafting with cardboard and DIY paint. Follow along and watch how I did it. My husband did this part, but not on film. He just measured the box and cut it down. We split the box and made one long sheet and flipped it inside out so we didn't have to worry about the tape. I used DIY Little Black Dress and covered the entire cardboard with a one coat of paint. Now I took Little Black Dress from DIY and salt wash and made the paint thicker. This was the end of my little black dress, which was a nice way to use up those at the bottom of that jar because it has a few chunks already. And I mixed it up using my paintbrush. Next time, I would use a spatula. It all gets gunked up in your brush, like right there. I'm using a spatula to mix that all up. And it's gonna be thick. And you just keep mixing until all that powder is gone. Then take a little bit of the thick paint on your spatula and add it to the cardboard. It's gonna have a bunch of texture and lines. That's what you want. You want that texture. You don't want that flat box anymore. So just keep creating some texture with that really thick paint. I did the same thing with fire starter and layered chocolate. I mixed it up and then made with the salt wash and made some more texture. Add those chunky layers wherever you think rust would be orange and layered chocolate work really well together and make a really nice looking rust. Another color for that rust patina is Old 57. I like that look of teal and you just add the salt wash to it and mix it up with a spatula. Add that yummy color just like you did the orange, giving it that rust look with some great patina. Now we're gonna wax it. I added clear wax, and then for that sun-dried look, I added white wax. You first put the clear wax right onto the cardboard box, and it brightens those colors up. Very, very nice. Add all that onto the layer. It's okay if you miss a few spots. And then add the white wax. When you add the white wax, it goes on a little heavy, but don't worry, you're going to Add it all on and then take a piece of paper toweling and wipe it back off. And if you get too much, you can use the clear as an eraser. Go until your heart's content.
when you have it all done, it's just a long piece of cardboard. And now it goes in. And it's your galvanized box. Now we'll get some ornaments on that tree. Bottom is all hidden. Cords are hidden inside the cardboard. And it's really pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am Connie from The Painted Photographer. Please hit the subscribe button and give me a like. Until next time, happy painting.